What up everybody, it's your boy with the Blast AK Kev Baby. We back doing another reaction. Today we're doing Ab Soul Track 2. Uh, I've gotten a ton of requests. This has been by far the most requested Ab Soul song that I haven't checked out already. Um, so we're going to check this out. And then also I think there's another one called two of his newer songs, Raw and then I think Huey New. Um, those two have been requested quite a few times so we're gonna get to them as well and then we still have a whole other list of some more absol to do but um this one was requested a lot so we're gonna check it out i did pull up the lyric video i think i'm gonna start doing that with uh most of these lyricists because i know i'll be missing a ton of bars and it's just gonna make my life a little easier you know what i'm saying when dudes like this are spitting into the deep consciousness and i can't even understand anything that's going on Yo, what up, my nigga? so yeah here we go get you on these last thing i do nigga When this come out, by the way? Well, this was uploaded in 14. This isn't his actual upload, though. Track 2. Okay, I don't even see an actual upload. Alright, so we'll just go with that era, I guess. Beat's pretty cool. It sounds like a Hobson beat, almost. This dude doesn't sound like Absol. Whoever's talking. When I roll through the city, you give me a rush. Yeah, I'm high off life, but I'm rolling blunts. Uh, and they come well. away for so to reappear. Click boom, TNT, TDE. We in here. Mm, I like that word play. Boom, T. Bro, I like that. I love when people use, um, I don't know what these are called. Like when you use letters instead of words. The TNT, TDE. I like that. From a mile away, you might as well get from around here. I run the town like Rock Nation. No exaggeration. Man, I rise like Lazarus. Use your imagination. Lazarus, mm. Lazarus is Satan, ain't it? Who's Lazarus? Lazarus. I have no idea how to spell it. Lazarus. Of Bethany. Saint. Four days. Okay, so that's some church stuff, right? Raising of Lazarus was a miracle of Jesus brought back to life by Jesus. Oh, okay, so he's saying, you, you can't kill me, I'm going to come back to life. Regardless, I'm timeless. Okay, okay. Use your imagination, fascinated by you faggotating. Get the occupation, you a violation. Crow folk, annihilation. Flow like the Nile River, yours now never. You had a release date, but now it's never. Mm, that's Welcome tough. To the control system, I'm stimulating the hoes and educating my niggas. I wiggle through potholes. My destination is vivid. To the end of the road, I'm dripping. Y'all tripping. Yo, I love his little flow. But he said, he did say something. You had a release date, but now it's never. Welcome to the control system. He's educating. He, from what I've heard, I've only heard a couple of his songs, but he can definitely talk about some topics and stuff that aren't talked about on a large scale. So that makes sense. But he's talking about the private pri private prison prison system. Damn, if I can talk. Uh, which yeah, if you haven't heard of it, do some research. It's a whole complex mess of garbage basically of how we imprison people in our country destination is vivid to the end of the road i'm tripping y'all tripping so and we start like absolute abstract asshole give the people what they need damn right let them know you got yep. some kind of disease i'm the illness in the business if you ain't with the business mind your business facts absolute abstract asshole give the people what they need damn right let them know this sounds like some old Eminem or something. This sounds like a course like Eminem would do. It's like got a kind of, it's got a kind of like choppy flow, and I like his wordplay in here. This dude is talented, bro. Absol, abstract asshole. Give the people what they need. Damn right, let them know. You got some kind of disease. I'm the illness in the business. If you ain't with the business, mind, mind your business. business. Facts. Like, like I never had shit, cause I never had shit. Facts. Same chucks, two years straight, doing bad shit. Mm. Sick, twist two splits out my dime bag shit. Bell. Trying to get a good. Hey, I brought, I brought them little $5 blunts for like three years, dog. Felt. 
you you make that dime bag stretch when you got to. Bad shit, sick, twist, two splits out my dime bag shit. Piss, trying to get a good response out this bad bitch. Mm. bitch you niggas want to call my bluff. Wish granny, call his ass granny. Now he mocked up, never been locked up. Wish granted call okay well I'm trying to get the wish granted so someone's calling his bluff wish granted he's gonna make it happen call his ass granite like a granite countertop I'm trying to feel I'm trying to think of how that fits in there I know it was a bar though he call his ass granite now he mocked up never been locked up but I keep a sentence winners winners sinners sin only to ask God forgiveness in this mm. world of luxury cars and legal tender Johnny want me like why left John gone to November pop my mm. like I'm John Juan green to my slippers just remember that they don't want me to get ignorance mm. literature given from this wicked minister witness your future diminish no present from Saint Nicholas in particular you're just a thing his wordplay is I'm wild bro trash, no reason to brag mm. Bro, he just, he said, I'm a diamond ring in the trash. So basically at this point, even now, I feel like he probably hasn't blown up that much. I just heard of this dude like a month ago, maybe, when he was on that rust track, uh, which was insane, by the way. But um, he said, I'm a diamond in the trash, meaning like the mainstream rap game is garbage. But he's he's in the rap game, but nobody's noticing. But he's a diamond. He should be noticed because he should. Cause he's got bars, wordplay. I mean, he's got the whole, the whole little situation going on. But he just ain't blowing up for it. But um, that was a bar. And then this whole wordplay up here with like the literature minister witness, you diminish, like all of this little wordplay was super nice. Lion like Nala? Is he talking about Nala from the Lion King? That was the that was the girl lion, right? It was Simba and Nala. Was Nala was stunting on my boy out here? I like the I do really like the line though, if you're gonna live on your knees or die on your feet. So basically there's another rapper that had some kind of bar that said if you don't stand for some I think it was J I D, if you don't stand for something you'll fall for nothing. And that's kinda like a rework. Well, this was put out before J I D's version. And anyway, regardless, it's just like kind of a common line that they're going with. Are you gonna stand for something and die about it? Or are you gonna live on your knees and be a little sucker? You lying like Nala, nigga. I like you it. Know where to find a nigga? Caution in the house, the view the village Scotchdale and right back around. Can't forget about the patch. Matter of fact, I got some homies off Great South. We go way back. Been running around since El. So now you're just shouting out his hometown where he grew up. Einstein. I saw Einstein's schedule. I've, I've, I'm so curious about like top performers and just like how people, people that like have changed the world or like just really, really notable high achievers and stuff. I'm so curious about like their habits and their sleeping and stuff. And I think I saw a chart of like a bunch of common people's, um, a bunch of these people like how they sleep and stuff. And I think Einstein's was crazy. I think he slept from like midnight to like 4 a.m. And then he worked basically all the rest of the day, but then he had like a two hour nap somewhere, maybe from like noon to two or something. So he only slept like four to six hours a day usually. And that's that was actually pretty common between a lot of the high achievers. They worked late into the night and they slept really short periods of time. Um, kind of totally irrelevant, but I don't know. When you think, it is, it's so interesting to think like, what if this person had a different life path and that it never happens? What if Einstein 
was out doing whatever he said basically gangbanging and stuff instead of being a scientist and then his discoveries never happened because he did that like how would the world be different it's kind of like the butterfly effect like it's just so it's it's so crazy how many like cogs are in the system or like how many different things are happening and like how we're at where we're at and to think about if one thing changed 20 years ago we could just be in a totally different spot pretty wild pretty wild um but yo playlist bars that, that was it i like it thanks for the recommendation y'all that was definitely a banger um yeah let me know what else y'all want to see let me know how you like the song and uh, i'll see y'all every day at 3 p.m cst for a new reaction peace love happiness and good vibes see y'all next time